Hey, so let's just jump right into the video. So I get a lot of people telling me that they graduated with their bachelor's degree in, you know, whatever degree they got and they want to pursue a master's in environmental engineering or, like, you know, a master's in whatever field. Then they ask me things like, what's a good graduate school to go to? You know, what's the future demand like for this one field? And can they actually get paid more if they get their master's? So although these are all really good questions to ask, another question that they should be asking before all this is, do I really even need a master's degree to begin with? Like, do I need a master's degree to get into this field? Now, I get what you're saying, because, you know, you might have been following the same route as me, where you graduated with a bachelor's degree in chemistry or, you know, a very different field, but you want to make a switch into a different field, like, for example, environmental engineering, because this channel is all about environmental engineering. Or you wanted to switch into a different field, like, you know, engineering or sustainability or whatever field you want. And you think that because you have a bachelor's degree in such an unrelated field that you need to prove to yourself that in order for you to be knowledgeable or competent in this field, that you have no choice but to get a master's. Like that's the only way that you or an employer would believe you that you actually know what you're doing. And again, I see where you're coming from. You know, it's frustrating because that degree is like the only thing to prove to potential you know, employers or to family members or whoever that you have what it takes to enter this field. Like you know what you're talking about, you're smart in it, but things like the cost of earning the degree, so you know, things like the time, the financial costs, the mental health and the stress, and the fact that you might not even get a job in that field that you want, that you are majoring in, these are all things that you have to consider too. In the end, the answer to that question of do you really need a master's degree? I mean, I can't answer that for you. You'll really have to figure that out for yourself whether or not like the master's degree is worth it. Again, considering things like the time, the cost, the stress, all that stuff, that will all be answered based on your own situation. Just remember that everyone's situation is different. Some people may have already have a family and they, you know, they want to go back to school, but they can't because they have a family. Or some people are still you know, trying to figure out themselves at a late age. Or maybe some other people, they're really smart and they're really young and they could just you know, dive into this field head first and like, not even look back. So in this video, I want to show and point out some things that you should consider before you decide whether or not like, you really need to take it. And I have made like, a similar video on this, but you know, it could be outdated or I could just be like repeating the same things. So just a heads up. So the first thing you should consider is, do you actually even have the money to get the degree? So let's be blunt here. My master's degree cost about like 26,000 for two years. And that was way back in like 2016, 2017. So today, 2021, the price has gone up. And this price was for a well-known, like pretty prestigious, reputable public university in California. So like an expensive state already. If you're getting it at a private university, expect that to be like 50000 for two years. And if you're like an international student, expect to pay like double that you know, for tuition compared to a normal US citizen. So if you're an international student going to a public university in California, expect to pay 40000 And if you're an international student going to a private university in California, expect to pay maybe even like 100000 So for sure, the cost is well over tens of thousands. So just expect that. Do you even have the money to you know go to this type of school next is do you even have the time to get the degree so a master's degree it usually takes about like two years to complete some can be faster depending on how you know smart you are and how much you might overload on your work it could be as fast as maybe skipping like a few months or maybe even just having one year for your master's or it could take as much as two years it could even take like three years four years but you don't want to like spread it out because the longer you take the more you'll have to pay so again the time commitment all depends on your situation you could take longer than two years if you have like other obligations like a family to take care of or maybe you're working so you're going to be like a part-time master's degree student while you're tending to your other obligations, you know, your job, your family. So expect that to take more than two years. Or for example, you might have to start from scratch. You have like no background in this field. So going from the very beginning, you might have to take some prerequisite classes, which will take longer for you to graduate. And that could hold you up for like a lot longer. Again, three years, maybe three, four years. So ask yourself, do you have the time to finish this degree on top of my other normal life day to day stuff? The next one is are you disciplined enough to even graduate with this degree? So this goes along with like the time wise, but are you like tough enough and smart enough to even get this degree? You know, just because you've heard all these great things that you might get paid more and maybe you happen to have the time and money for it, that doesn't mean that you'll even pass with this degree. Let's be honest here, school is tough, no doubt about it, but again, just don't waste your time, don't waste your money. If you know that in the end, like you're not gonna pass or you won't even use this degree. I know it sounds mean, but this is the truth. If you can't suck it up, endure, study, or you just have like bad 
study habits, don't waste your time. You can sort of tell how you were as a student based off of how you were when you got your bachelor's degree. So like, did you have the same bad study habits? If you do, then you're probably just much worse. So imagine that like 10 times as bad, unless you have like a super serious change in your life. But again, how you were as a student during bachelor's degree, that's how you probably will end up being during your master's. So in the end, if you're not disciplined, you're just gonna waste your time. Next is that just because you have your master's degree does not guarantee that you'll even get a higher pay. So people need to hear this out. Just because you are smarter than someone or you know, you're know you more certified does not mean that even an employer would want to pay you more. I know deep down in the end, we all want to get paid higher. And it is typically true that higher education means higher responsibilities, which means more pay, but that's not always the case. Just think of it as like a business point of view. If I tell you that you will get paid the same amount as a coworker with less education, but you have like more stress and like more work to do, would you really want to take that position? Yes, you have your master's degree to gloat about, but like you probably wouldn't take it. Why would you want to do more work for less pay or like the same amount of pay as someone who doesn't have that? You basically endured three years of school for no reason. So always have this in the back of your mind that no degree is guaranteed to pay you more just because you have higher education. Don't expect like a handout because that's not the case and no one's gonna feel like guilty or feel bad just because you got your master's degree or like you endured three extra years of schooling because they don't have to pay you more. Next, going along the same line as having like a higher pay is that just because you have a higher degree doesn't mean that you'll even have a higher chance of getting a job. So again, going back to how in a business point of view, they don't want to pay someone more when they can hire someone for less. So most likely they won't even have that position, that like manager position or like engineer level two for like master's degree because they don't want to pay someone more. I know each country and each company will be different. So I can't say this broadly for everything, but always just have that thought in the back of your mind because you can't argue with an employer because they are going to hire you. No one is expected to give you anything. Again, just because you have your master's degree, no one's going to feel bad for you. To be honest, they don't really want to have to pay someone more. And they would avoid doing that by not even opening that position. And lastly, this is probably the newest one, is that for online master's degree, especially with the whole pandemic right now, you might not even get the same experience as you would have if you were to be studying in person. So you're gonna have a trade-off here. You're gonna miss out on like in-person actual, maybe stimulating learning experience compared to like learning online. So will you learn as much and will you be more actively engaged with the curriculum if you did this online master's degree compared to like an in-person master's degree. I know for some who like working remotely, you know, this can save you a lot of time from not having to drive to the facility. You know, you don't have to like, actually go to the place. You don't have to meet with people. Maybe you don't even like to see your peers or you don't even need to see them at all. I know it's different for each degree. I know for example, like a hard science degree, you can't learn as much through like online labs, for example, you have to actually press the buttons play with the instrument compared to like say a computer science degree where everything is just you know online. Again, it's different for each program, but just think that you'll be sacrificing some things if you're gonna take online versus in person. And if you have no choice because of this pandemic, you might not even enjoy it. So again, you're gonna be spending lots of money, lots of time, lots of mental health, stressful issues, and it might not even be fun for you. And so those are like the six things that you should think about before you actually go out and like pursue a master's degree. I know in the end, I'm putting it out pretty bluntly, all the negative things and all the sacrifices that you'll have to make if you pursue a master's degree. And I have to tell you, because I don't want you to go in like blindly thinking that it's the best thing in the world, that you're guaranteed all these benefits and rewards just because you're higher educated than someone else. Your future is not set just because you have this degree. And I'm just here to warn you beforehand from someone who already has their master's degree. I know things worked out for me. Mine is just, you know, one scenario though. I've had other classmates who went through the same things that I did. You know, they went through all those bad things that I've listed. They wasted time, they wasted money, they got stressed, and in the end, they couldn't even find the work in this field. But you know, the weird thing is that we all went to the same school. So you would think that you might end up getting the same results. But in the end, that's not what happened. And they ended up regretting their decision. Yeah, so I'm just putting it up bluntly again. All these things that you should come in asking yourself before even pursuing this. Ask yourself these questions before you even begin to think like, what school should I go to? And like, what should I apply after this? Because in the end, those questions that you're asking yourself right now, they might not even happen because let's say you don't even graduate. Those questions might not even be relevant. Man, wow, I sound like really mean today, but I'm just trying to give you a heads up. Save yourself the stress, the time, the pressure. If you cannot answer 
like with a confident yes to all these questions that I'm asking. All right, so that's all I have for the video. Don't hate me for, you know, being blunt about it. I'm just here to warn you. I'm just trying to tell you things that you probably don't want to hear, but things that you should hear. So if you liked what I said, just go like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, goodbye.